While motorists were having their compulsory ICBC insurance costs climb by 11 percent, ICBC management was seeing increases too. Those premiums were fueling an ever bigger tank of managers at ICBC and giving them premium high-octane pay hikes. Clearly, that is not taking into account the realities of what's going on in the world uh, all around us. And uh, it shows a real disconnect, in my view, between what British Columbians and those around the world are really feeling in the economy and what was taking place at ICBC. It sounds like the top heavy on the management side, and it's us that's paying it, unfortunately. The ICBC review determined the number of people at the taxpayer-owned corporation earning more than $200,000 increased by 315 percent in just the last five years. The increase in the number of senior management we've seen since 2007, 2008 to today, an increase in 32 uh, percent numbers of senior managers. Their compensation packages have increased 50 percent, but at the same time, the employees have dropped. It looks like these executives have been spending our money like drunken sailors. I mean, a 70 percent increase in executive compensation over five years. Um, that is just completely out of touch with what's going on in the rest of the economy. We're absolutely appalled by this. ICBC boss John Schubert was talking about an employee leaking private ICBC information, not about today's scathing review of his corporation. Schubert, who's now getting the boot, is unavailable, but in an email to workers says, I'm particularly proud of leaving the organization on sound financial footing, committed to an orderly transition. Thousands have supported me. I'll always be grateful. Remember, ICBC is significant. You have an important role. Take care. But Schubert's sayonara will be a long, soft one. He's being shown the door, but with an eight-month contract to be a consultant. So he'll still make the same amount of money, just doing less work. And once again, all of us sit there and go, why doesn't ICBC get the message here? Schubert will be paid until June 2013. And over the next two years, ICBC says it will slice off nearly 200 staff, mostly managers. We actually recommend that ICBC now roll back managers' salaries by 15%. Um, usually you wouldn't be able to get away with this, but the fact that you're planning to cut 135 manager jobs gives you a whole lot of leverage with these executives to actually get in there and get some of this money back for taxpayers. Why do I support the Canadian Taxpayers Federation? Because families deserve a break. Because someone has to keep our politicians honest. Because honesty and hard work should be rewarded, not punished. Alone, my voice may not be heard, but together our voices can't be ignored.